So we're here on the south side of Isla, right outside the Ardbeg distillery. And just beside me here, we have a bottle of Ardbeg Ardcore. It's a bottle released for the 2022 Isla Festival. The name Ardcore, it's a, a sort of honour to when punk rock came to Isla in the 1970s, when a, we'll just say, a group of youths, uh, shall we say, terrorised Port Ellen. I think it's kind of fitting that Ardbeg's the distillery that seems to honour punk rock. You know, they've, uh, despite having over 200 years of like whiskey making heritage, they've always had a bit of a idiosyncratic streak with some of the whiskies that they've released. What makes this one different from like your normal Ardbeg is that they use a uh, dark roasted barley uh, for their malting. And what that does is that will generally give a whiskey a much uh, more intense kind of flavour. Some people say you'll get a nice uh, coffee, almost charcoal-y kind of uh, flavour coming from that. Uh, we'll see if that comes through. We'll see if that comes through the sort of intense peatiness of uh, Ardbeg. Excellent. So straight away, it's a fairly light spirit. Uh, we've got no indication of age or the casks used, but presumably quite young, probably American oak. Um, Ardbeg's usually quite light in colour anyway, so it's uh, not too much of a departure from that. All I know is that's certainly something else. I said there's like a savoury, meaty element. Sometimes that's quite common with uh, Isla whiskies, particularly the sort of peaty or smokier style. Yeah, it's a, there is an underlying sweetness to it as well. It's a, not as abrasive as the name Ardcore might suggest, eh, at least initially, but we'll give it a sip and find out. So it's surprisingly sweet on the palate. It was almost like a tablet, it's making me think of. But the main thing I noticed is actually on the finish, that's where uh, perhaps the Ardcore kind of earns its name. It's uh, quite sharp, not necessarily off-putting, but it, you do get a bit of a sort of peaty, smoky punch in the throat. Well, it's more appealing than a punch in the throat. Yeah, it's quite interesting, as I said, my expectations from knowing um, what they've done with the barley before this and other whiskies I've tried that have been done in that style, it's radically different from what I expected. And I'd be interested to know anyone else where, what they might think. Yeah, I'm not getting that sort of nice ch chocolatey coffee aroma that you sometimes get from a darkly roasted barley. So this is a, definitely a, a, a whiskey for the Isla purists, I'd say. Um, as I said, it's definitely not one for everybody, but for people who enjoy that style, it's definitely worth considering. Uh, particularly if you like Ardbeg, I don't think it's too far of a departure from their usual house style, and definitely worth uh, checking out.